Hey folks, Scott Grove here. I had a request to do some chicken picking country stuff for you, and I'll be happy to do that. Um, no, this will not be a quick lick today because there's just too much of it. I could do a good 50 hours easy on this stuff. So I'll just let this one tape run out and give you a taste of this, okay? And then maybe I'll put the other 49 on DVD, you know, 49 hours on DVDs for you. Okay, so what is chicken picking? Chicken picking. Um, basically, most people get this part screwed up. Chicken picking is more about the clicks and the clucks than it is about the notes. Okay, so chicken picking has nothing to do with how quick you're playing. It's not called quick and picking. Okay, it doesn't have anything to do with how um, quick your notes go by. Nothing like that. The chicken picking part is actually a technique of nothing but uh, repetitive clicks. Okay, which are just this. And incorporating that sound into your style. That is real chicken picking. Uh, people will call things like um, the stuff that uh, Brad Paisley and so forth does as chicken picking. Sure, it's incorporated in there, but things that are like a hybrid style things where you grab your. Um, Da, 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 da. infamous hot pink I might add thumb picks and do the hybrid picking um, that has nothing to do with chicken picking that is hybrid picking okay that's using a thumb and fingers so that is hybrid picking can you do the both at the same time of course as long as you get that pick to rock back and forth going okay so now that you basically know the difference, let's get down here on my most, uh, I was looking for the uh, single most um, butthole guitar I could find, meaning that everybody has one. So it's like, well, what guitar uh, does everybody think I should be playing for this? So I'm going to pull it out just to make fun of country in general. I love country more than any other kind of music there is, but it seems everybody has to have a guitar that looks like this and be this color and have that color pick guard and be made in the good old USA and just a good old, you know, one of these and play on the uh, bridge pickup only, toss on the compressor, uh, the delay set at about 120 milliseconds and you're ready to roll. Slight bit of tube overdrive and that's why I've got everything set today. So everything is... <laughs> everything is present. So we do have our compressor on. We do have the 120 millisecond delay and we do have the very slight hint of overdrive and we have it down at a volume that my wife can comfortably live with in the next room while she's trying to sleep. Okay, so the chicken picking thing as I'm rattling 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 we will simply um, show you what this is all about. This is, like I said, again I'm going to use the actual chicken sound the clucking chicken sound to show you these clucking licks. Um, just the Merle Haggard. Okay, so it is the actual um, clicky sounds that define chicken picking. Okay, and everything around it is just licks. <laughs> okay, so it's a matter of um, you being able to incorporate clicks into your licks. Okay, nothing more. Okay, um, I will show you some cool licks and then we'll throw some clicks in there just to make them chicken picking since the uh, lesson that I was specifically asked to do was on chicken picking and I'm not sure if they know 100% for sure what chicken picking is or if they're just after country. Um, so we'll do a little of both and incorporate the two and it'll be all good. Okay, so let's get ourselves together here. Um, I don't care whether you're using a pick or not. You can do uh, chicken picking. That's using my thumb with no thumb pick and my first finger. That's just simply going... Just 
just on the B string, just back and forth. Just. Okay, so you can play as fast as you want using that, or you can just grab a good old pick and. Okay, this is a very slow version of what the metal heads will call butterfly picking, which is. You know, that type of thing. Okay, so, um, so we are going to be doing a mixed bag of tricks of actual clicks and clucks and of actual notes. So the chicken sound is where I'm going to start you, okay, for people who just don't know how to do this. Um, let's do it in A. So we're going up on the B string up to the 10th fret with your ring finger. Okay, so down up, just with nothing but clicks, not even pushing down on the string. Down up, then A, 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 click, click, A, 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 click, click. Okay, just simply practice that. As stupid as that sounds, that is 90% of uh, getting this clucking thing done. Okay. Okay, just add in another note. I just threw in the uh, eighth fret of the E string. the 12th fret instead. Okay, so whatever you want to do, make your chicken sound just so you can have some fun while you're trying to get this mess happening. Okay, um, something like that on your G string. Let's do it. A whole scale in A. So from 14, okay, click, click, A, click, click, G on the 12, 11, Nine, seven, six, four, two. Okay. Okay, that kind of thing will help you probably more than anything actually. Is simply going from be more than anything that uh, you can possibly do and then just simply start using that within um, some of these licks I'm going to start showing you or what you already know okay because uh, just take the simple licks such as okay So it's just a okay. It's uh, just a bunch of simple stuff like that, but you're just adding the cluck and clucks right on in there, and it's chicken picking all of a sudden. Okay, so that is the real definition. Okay, ten minutes to explain the definition. Okay, let's get some real licks and put in some real clicks. Okay. Here's always a good one. Um, okay, that one going by. Lots of clicks. Okay, um, very easy scale. I've taught this scale quite a few times, but now I'm just incorporating 
the chicken picking. Okay, so we're gonna go, this is in the key of A. Okay, we're going up to 10th fret on the high E string. Okay, that is starting with it bent up a whole step. I'm using three fingers to help me bend it up there. Okay, I'm going to scooch a little closer until we get further down the neck. Okay, 12, released back down the 10. Okay, 12, released to 10. Go into this 8. Go into 10 on your B. Back to 10 on your E. Okay. Okay, when you do the... Uh, I'm going back to the B string again. Right there. Uh, you'll get a chicken clock right there. And slight bit of a note. You can add as many as you want. Okay, so incorporate as many clucks as you want. I'm going to teach you the lick. You can cluck the hell out of it. Okay, 12 bent down to 10. Pull off to 8, 10 on the B, 10 on the E, back to 10 on the B, now 8, 9, hammer on, okay, that's the first part of the lick, okay, there it is with the clucks in it, here's with that, and with chicken picking. We're going to follow the lake all the way down and you can hear me putting in the clucking clucks. Okay, first lick. Okay, now we're for the next lick and then we'll put the clucks in. It's going to be starting from the A, so 10th fret B string, pulling off to the um, 8th fret, B string, now 9th fret on the G, back to 8, okay, 8 on the B, that's going to be 9, 7, 5, which is just one hit, okay, so it's a slide, pull off, all on the G, so 9, 7, 5, 5 on the D string, so that is, now we have, flatten it out, 7 on the G, 7 on the D, now 5, 6 on the G, clucks we can do there. Okay, you can even do... Okay, so a variation, instead of going... which is a nice variation, is a simple bend from 7, bring it up, already bent up to the ninth fret or a full step. So just like the first one, simply octaves if you haven't figured it out by now okay so from down here well, let's go ahead and go with the bend thing or you can use the but I'm gonna go for the bend okay that is simply as you can tell uh, D string 7 5 
to pull off. Seven on the A, five on the D, now the, which is the bend on the A string, fifth fret, towards the ground, third fret, low E string, fifth fret, fifth fret, A, back to fifth fret, E, now three, four, hammer on, on your A. Finally, fifth fret on your low E. Whole lick very slowly, no chicken picking yet, is this. With all bends, not going to utilize, not going to do it, wouldn't be prudent. Um, not going to utilize the, but you can see that it's there if you want to use it slowly. quicker. Okay. okay, so there it is at normal speed. Uh, if that happens to be the speed of your track. If not, then it's either too slow or too fast. Imagine that. Okay, now the chicken picking part, okay? Put them where you want, but typically the clicks, okay, right there. Keep playing the notes, but just shut them the hell up. Right back here. You don't have to hear all those notes. That's why chicken picking was invented, to give you the clicks. The compressor gives you extra click, and the delay throws a double click on there. So with each click you do, there's a sympathetic click after it. So everything's giving you tons of click options. If you use a pick, it gives you more click. If you use your fingers, which I like to do, and not use any picks at all, and I still get plenty. Again with the pick, let me straighten out everything here. Okay. That whole part right there. Can be chicken picked. So that much of it can be left out and just chicken picked. Okay. Okay, so basically that G string can be chicken picked and not even heard. Okay. So you're not even hearing, you're just hearing the click, the chicken pick. Then you're not hearing this. You're hearing the first note. Okay, then you're not hearing the, this this note. You're not hearing the note on the D string now. Okay, so you're not hearing the actual A note that's being played on the D string. Okay, so you're, again, you're not hearing the note being played on the A string. Okay, so there you're just getting that D note. Then you're just clucking <laughs> your A string and your E string, where it would have been. Okay, but you're just getting... 
So you're not getting anything on the low E string. Until the very end. So it takes away a lot of your notes, but it adds a lot of these ghost notes, or what they used to be called before the term chicken picking became what it is. They were just called ghost notes. Okay? That's where you just played something, but there was no actual note there, but you heard a ghost. <laughs> okay? So with the slow bus going to school and throwing those same uh, chicken pickings on there, sound. Okay, so you're cutting out that many notes. What was that? Same thing, but just backwards. Try to get a galloping, yes, we're moving on. Okay, I'm going to the seventh fret on the D string. Again, just down, up, down. Down, up, note, down, up, note, down, up, note. finger here. That exercise will help you a whole lot. Okay? Bunch of practicing like that. Okay, now I'm going into 16th notes. Instead of the galloping. Okay, so it's just doubling up on your timing. Again, practice. That's all I'm doing with the chicken. Okay, so it sounds like you're playing a million mile an hour when you're sitting there going. Okay, so that's all chicken picking is about. That's as simple as it really gets. Okay, um, other cool little licks. People associate dissonant notes and um, open string things as being part of chicken picking, which it is not. Uh, it's just people happen to chicken pick during them. So that kind of playing has nothing to do with chicken picking. I think you kind of get the idea now. Okay, so let's learn a new lick that over it you can chicken pick. Okay, in the key of A. You can put them in any other hole you want. But right for now, it goes in your A hole. That's right, we're going to be doing everything in A. So, yes, I meant to say it, of course. It goes right in your old corn hole, your A hole. Okay, in the key of A again. 
Okay. On the B string. Yes, that's the way it's supposed to sound. That's what it's going to sound like. Okay, yeah, I know you're excited to do that one. I was excited to make it up. Okay, this is simply going from... Might as well get your fingers ready at the 5th fret. Okay, because you're going to be covering the B and the uh, E string using that finger. Okay, so you're using your ring finger going from 7 to 8 on the B string. We're going to leave out the chicken crap for a second and get the lick right. Go set 7 to 8, slide. And while that's ringing, of course, reach up there and grab 5th fret, which is your A note on the E string. and just backward then seven or eight seven back to five so exactly backward okay but you start here okay then eight seven five same thing on the next set of strings G string seven eight the stuff right there. Dissonance at its best. Um, 7, 8 on your G, 5 on your B. Okay. If you wanted to finish it out just for shits and giggles, you can do that. Okay. That's just going for hammering on from 5 to 6 on your G, finishing up on 7 on your D string. Okay, but if you want to continue on with the fun stuff. Okay, the next one being after this. Same thing, but you're starting down here on your A position. Okay, so get them ready on the third fret. I'm oh, sorry, fourth fret G string going four five. Then second fret on your B. Then just like we've been doing, five four two on the G. Just four two on a pull off on the D string. Back to your second fret on your G string. Okay. Now the cool thing about all of these are the fact that you can run them into the ground, which is so totally cool and makes for um, the greatness of the sound of these. Okay. Still no chicken stuff here yet, but the fact that you can go even just right here. backing up on them. Okay, now let's chicken pick them. Let's get them a little, little bit chicken fried. Okay. Okay. Chicken pick. There you go. Down up. Cluck it twice. Okay, so just... Okay, that's all it is. Apply what I've already showed you. Always put a double cluck where you can. Find a hole and cluck and fill it. Hear that? Click, click. Lick. Click, click. That was a lick. Click, click. 
Even if you're doing something so simple as that, it is the chicken picking. Even if you're just doing that, doing a f from the fourth fret of your G string, click, click, bam. Whatever it takes to get you back to there, but it's all about the clicks. It's not about the licks so much. Sure, pulling them off at the same time is a beautiful thing. Okay. Um, another lick that goes right along with this. Uh, another little, this is a little open lick, open A lick that I made up a long time ago for an original song, and I'm sure you'll like it, but um, it personifies um, the need for the chicken picking and shows you some cool open uh, string stuff which everybody loves and in the key of A. Um, not too many people have open string licks in the key of A but this one shows you the cool ones. Uh, this is actually on one of my lessons, my very first lesson I did uh, 7, 8, 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago, whatever it was. Okay, this is, like I say, we're in the A hole. We're going to stay in the A hole probably the whole time I'm here. Okay, A string, open, then second fret on the G string. Let's learn the lick first. Then we're going to do a hammer on, open, two, four, on your D. Then open G. Major dissonance again, that's what, you know, country guitar playing is about these particular days. Okay. Again, A, octave A, then open, two, four, okay, 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 there, Adam's family, da 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 da, click, click, da 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 da, click, click, that's very important, okay. And let's do another one, but let's just do it lower, okay? How ugly is that? Okay, so same two A's. Now open A string, open two, four. Now open D string. Okay. Play it by quick enough, it doesn't matter. But you play that one first. Let's do that one first. Followed by the second one. Okay. Let me do it better myself. Rock back and forth as much as you want on those dissonant notes that are only half a step apart from each other. Um, ugly is cool in um, country music. Okay, so again. Okay, now we're going to finish out this whole lick. That is the lick we just did at the beginning, the A, A, then you're open 2, 4 on the D, open G, back to the 4th fret on the D, back to the open G, 2nd fret, hammer on to the G, open B string, okay? Letting them all ring, buddy. B string. Now hit your G string, which still is fretted at the twelfth or at the second fret, and pull it off from two to open. And then 
that's right, you're still fretted here at the fourth fret on the D string, so hit it again. <laughs> That's actually how it goes. Okay. You can finish it on down the scale if you want. That's just such a cool lick. Okay, remember earlier? Okay. From the... Um, and together that one there is simply high E going from the fifth fret pull off to the second now fifth fret of your B back to the second fret of your high E same thing five pull off to the two on the B third fret I'm sorry fifth fret on the G for that dissonance again. What do you do there? What you've already done. The stuff I just showed you. Okay. So those are the licks. Okay. Put in your clicks. <laughs> Okay, so put your clicks in wherever you want them. It makes no difference anymore as long as you know that you can go... what this is all about okay so no matter how many licks you have um, all the licks that you already know can benefit from the chicken cluck okay the chicken clucker <laughs> normal licks but then again you hear the little chicken cluck okay those are simply the ones that you probably already know um, sixth fret on the G fifth fret on your E the other notes being seven and seven these are on G and high E strings only eight and eight nine and nine okay What you're doing is, is pulling off to an open string every time on your E string. And then you're just doing click click on your G and your E string. Okay, so you're doing sliding into the 6th fret. And then the pull off on your E. Then a cluck on the G. And then a cluck up on the E. See, we're going to be clucking up all day long. There it is. If you screw it up like I just did and play an open E string, who cares? E is in the A scale. Duh. It's your fifth. See? Then, same thing. Just slide up. Okay, seven and seven. Pull off your high E. Cluck your G and your E. Okay. Okay. You don't have to do every note. Okay. 
So I'm just going then going right to the E string. Then E string again. Then the E string again. If you want to carry it up, move it to D, which brings you back to this again, which is 11 and 10. Then up to E, which is 13 and 12. Finish at the E scale going up by 14 and 14. Then 16 and 16. And finally ending up in A, which is up here at 18 and um, 17. Then you can go up to uh, 19 and 19, 20 and 20, and 21 and 21. Okay, all your tellies will have 21 frets. Of course, this being American has 22. Okay, so all the way up. Okay, however you want to play it. Tons of clucks. Okay, what do you do after you get down there? You can go. As long as you got the clucking mess going on. It's another good exercise. Exercises are good. Playing you have. Licks you can steal off anybody on YouTube. Okay, but it's the that you need. You need the technique. Okay? Okay, let's do A7. Which constitutes of uh, G, B, and E string. 9, 8, and 9. Okay? Okay, so that's uh, picking down on your G string. Okay, again, we're doing the pull-off on the high E string, then high E string. Okay, I'm doing the clucks this time, both going up on the B and G string. Okay, so down on your G, pick your note on your E string, pull it off. Then we're going to do cluck on the B and on the G. Okay, so your last three notes are all upstrokes, but only the first one. Okay. Yep, it's annoying. But that is going to be very, very important to learn because check it out. Okay, it goes right down to your A. Dissonance at its best again. Okay. Okay. Let's get you some more fun licks. Um, the infamous. kind of thing. Okay? Again, we're staying in the A hole all the way through the lesson. Okay, G string going from 9 to 11. Hammer on. Now your first finger going up to the 10th fret of the B. That's your A note. Then back to 11 on your G. Now we're going to do a big bend. Okay, we're keeping the one finger here at the 10th fret to help with the bend. We're actually doing the bend on the 12th fret of the uh, B string. Okay. Okay, again. 
bend it up on the 12th fret. Then your pinky slides underneath, grabs the 12th fret on the E string. That will end up being a cluck. But if you want the notes, then B string, then you actually reach back with your first finger all the way back to the 10th fret of the E string while your B string is still bent up. Hit your B string again, release it, and pull it back off to your 10th fret on your uh, B string for your A note. Here's the chicken picking, clucking stuff. Okay, so time to room for your clucking notes. What if you die and the hokey pokey really is what it's all about? <laughs> and that's what, yep, that's what it's all about. Okay, so that is that, and let's finish up more licking. <sighs> yeah, she appreciates it. Don't think she don't. Huh? There's the fun stuff. You knew it was coming. Now go back to the ninth fret, real quick after that, with your ring finger on the high E. Now we got our hip and grab this middle finger here, get it bent up. Here on the eighth fret, it has to be bent up a whole step, so just like it was up here on the A. And release it, so we get A7. When you release it down, your birdie finger can actually reach in and grab the ninth fret on your G string. Then hit your B string again, right back up to A, and then you can hit your E string again if you want, but now we can clock the heck out of it. Okay, again, just listen for the clucks. Okay, this here's just playing around with the notes we just learned. So we're playing nothing special at all, but the clucks make it special. We can dance if you want to, we can lick your friends behind. And if you don't dance, and if you don't dance, he's no friend of mine. The safety dance. Okay. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, I know it. But again, it's about chicken picking. How's that?
again, it's just a matter of picking your um, places to cluck more than anything. It's not about doing this or doing this. I can play all this stuff. You could do all that stuff with and out that, but until you get that stuff in there, there's no chicken picking. I was playing country, okay? I was playing the same licks. Okay, it sounds good, but it is not chicken picking. Okay, once again, um, for the last time, it's not about anything other than notes that don't exist being played within the stuff you already know. Okay, so the best thing you could do is exercise, um, and then once you're done with her, uh, grab your guitar and then work on uh, what we've been playing. And again, really. best exercise that you can do. Because then you learn to get your control and last longer than 30 seconds. Okay? You don't you don't want to screw up halfway through your solo. You need a full minute <laughs> for your solo at least. care what notes you play as long as you play a cluck. I'm not here to teach you the major scale. Uh, play on play this. I don't care. As long as you got cluck cluck un cluck cluck un with the cluck cluck here and cluck cluck there here a cluck or cluck everywhere I don't give a cluck. Um, so actually I do give a cluck so that's why you've just had a free hour of very simplistic um, chicken picking. I know you're probably expecting more than this but this is what you need. Okay, The rest of it, the licks, they're out there and you know me, I'll charge you for them. Um, but this is worth more than the licks. Okay, is the information behind it and for you to actually know um, what it's all about, what chicken picking actually is. It's not how fast you can play, it's not whether you can get that thumb pick in there and going right. Um, it's a cool thing, but again, you can do it with a thumb and a finger. I'm getting all the clucks you want right there. Okay, so we can get clucks all kinds of ways. Um, before I leave you, let's do um, just one thing I was doing earlier, and it's just, again, for exercise. Is it country? Um, what isn't country these days? Okay. Um, okay. Okay. All done on the D string, 7th fret. There you're doing 5th fret, covering the G and the B string, pulling down, pulling your 3rd of the A, okay, and from your minor to your major, okay, okay, that's what we want, it sounds like a chicken, you can do the thing here. I don't care what you do, as long as you have the technique right. That's just flattening out your ring finger covering the 7th fret G and B strings. Okay, there 
there, I just went boom. Okay, so boom, click, click, note, click, click. Boom. Okay, click, click, and a third click. Okay, three clicks. Okay, that was going up to the eighth fret. Same thing. So, again, three clicks in there. Note, click, 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 eight, note, click, 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 seven, note, click, five. Throw in the low A if you want, okay? So. you want it. I've taught it before, but since we're here, let's get it really fast. i got two minutes to teach it to you. Okay, you already see it. 14, 16 on the D. 14 on the G. That's your A note. Back to 16 on your D. Now we're doing 16 on the G. Okay. And we're going all the way up to 17 with your pinky on your high E. So bend your 16 on your G. Hit the G string again. Okay, while that's still bent up, we're going to go back and hit the 14th fret with your first finger on the high E. Okay, so bend up the string again here on the uh, 16. Hit it again on the G, then 12th fret on the E, okay, after you hit the 12th fret on the E, now while that's still hit up, you hit it again on the G string, now your pinky grabs the 17th fret on your B string, while it's still bent up. Okay, this, this will make it easier because I got the right fingering this time. Um, sorry about that. Uh, middle finger actually goes to the 16th fret on your G. And your ring finger is on the 17th. G string again. Now 12th fret on your E. Now you hit your G string again. Now your ring finger on the 17th of the B. Okay. Now hit your G string again. And pull off to 14. Then 16, 14 pull off on the D string. And then finally end up again on 14 on the G. Sorry for my mess up again. Again, it's the middle finger up on the 16th fret. Up, then 17 on the E. Play the G. Now 12 on the E. Hit the G again. Now 17 on the B. Now the G again. Release it. Pull off to 14. Now 16, 14 on your D. Then finally. 14 on your G. One of the greatest chicken picking things around. Your phrasing is everything. Play it wherever. Okay, so there you go.
there you go. Once again, there you go. A full hour of free um, chicken picking, licking. Good. <sighs> okay, so hope you enjoy whatever that was. Okay, Scott Grove. Take care. Bye. 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 The videos. That's right. Please support support my habits. <laughs> Take care.